Hello, I'm Josh from the NRS Repairs Department. On this week's tech tip, we're gonna be going over how to clean and prep your boat for storage. Proper maintenance and upkeep will make sure that your boat lasts a long time. First thing I'm gonna do is put on my gloves, make sure my hands are well protected against these chemicals. Um, some of them are very light, but again, it can't hurt to be uh, safe when you're doing this. First thing I like to do when I'm cleaning my boat is take the thwarts out. Uh, it's better for winter storage, um, just to keep the battens away from the boat, any kind of hard item. I don't like to store in my boat. And it also makes it easier to clean as well. Now when I'm using inflatable boat cleaner, I like to use it in congruence with a lot of water. It helps thin it out. The stuff is pretty strong on its own and it helps kind of spread out on the boat as well. I also like to focus on certain areas at a time. I'll work on the floor first, then the outer edges of the tubes, kind of one section at a time, maybe this half, then the other half. Then I'll flip the boat over and do the bottom half as well. I then use the inflatable boat cleaner just on the section I'm working on. It will evaporate over time, so I don't like to spread it out over the whole boat because I'll end up having to spray it again eventually. And this inflatable boat cleaner helps to remove any stains, skid marks, um, frame wear. It doesn't get everything, but it does get the bulk of what's there. And it's also important to trade out your rags every so often. The rag can become very, very dirty. And then at that point, you're just spreading dirt along the boat instead of cleaning it off. So as we're working in here, I just like to make sure I'm working in sections, not forgetting an area on the boat, and really getting into the nooks and crannies that uh, maybe you didn't see over the year and, and have collected a lot more dirt than you thought they did. If you encounter a kind of a tougher stain, just keep at it. Sometimes it'll come off. Uh, if it doesn't, that's where the toluol comes in. Toluol is used with Hypalon fabrics. MEK is used with PVC and urethane fabrics. It's important that you use them sparingly because they're very aggressive on the fabric material itself. We've cleaned the floor and the outer tubes of our boats. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and start on the floor. Now that we've got our boat flipped over, we're gonna continue on with the same process of wetting the underside down with water and working section by section with the inflatable boat cleaner. If you have an Expedition Series raft, you have a nice HD40 wrap on the underside of your tubes that has a pretty deep texture that will lather up the inflatable boat cleaner to kind of counteract this, we're going to want to put a little bit more water in those areas to really flush out any excess inflatable boat cleaner. For the next step in our process, we're going to grab some new rags and 303. 303 helps protect your boat against UV degradation. When you think about dry rot on your tires, oxidation on your car, or even your fading tent, this is all due to UV degradation. And it's pretty much the only thing that'll kill your boat. You can throw this boat off a trailer at 60 miles an hour and you can patch any damage. But UV degradation really kills the molecules on the surface, starts to crack the material, and really prevents it from holding any air. UV degradation can drastically reduce the life of your boat. Using a product like 303, you can help keep your boat around for a long time. As a side note, you only want to use 303 once or twice a year on your PVC boats. PVC boats contain plasticizers, which 303 can bleed out over time. This could shorten the life of your boat. 303 can and still should be used on your PVC fabrics. However, overuse may have detrimental impacts on your boat over time. This is not the case with Hypalon or urethane fabrics. Using 303 is a little bit easier than the inflatable boat cleaner. We kind of spray it on, wipe it out a little bit, let it sit, and then wipe up any excess. While it's sitting on there, it's going to create a film and slightly absorb into the rubber, urethane, or PVC fabric we're working on. It's great to do this to your boat over the winter uh, as it's sitting in your garage. It may be in a sunbeam, uh, but it's also really important to do this first thing out of the, out of the storage shed uh, in the spring and also probably every one or two months, depending on how often you're using the boat. Uh, it's not necessary every trip, but it's definitely necessary every few trips. And you may notice too, as you let it sit here, it changes the sheen of your boat. Your boat may have been a duller color and it kind of makes it pop a little bit. It's almost like putting a coat of wax on your car. You can see here we did a pretty good job of, of cleaning the boat the first time. We don't have a lot of dirt residue, we just have a lot of 303 on the, on the rag here. And if you really want to make your 303 last, you can spray less than I'm spraying here, kind of wipe it out with a rag, and then wipe up any excess you see. When I'm rubbing this off, I'm not being very aggressive, I'm just lightly taking off any excess. I'm not cleaning the boat at this point, it's more like I'm uh, polishing or, or dusting the boat at this point. 303 will make your boat uh, much slicker, uh, so it's important to use caution when you're walking around on the tubes at the boat launch, uh, just to 
be a little more cognizant of what you're doing around the boat. It's in that nice slick stage. Leaving a little excess of 303 on the boat for the winter storage uh, is gonna be just fine. I wouldn't damp the whole thing down and then put it away. Um, but you know, a few drips here and there aren't really gonna hurt anything. Now that we've cleaned and 303'd our boat, it's time to put it away in a cool and dark place, uh, somewhere where rodents can't get into it off of the ground. Following these steps, cleaning your boat thoroughly, making sure it's protected from the sun, protected from pests and heat and cold, uh, will ensure your boat's gonna last a very long time.